Hello C++ folks. This is about the second assignment, chapters 6 through 9, where we ask you to acquire a text editor and an SFTP program. This will facilitate editing your code on a nice editor YCWIG on your machine and saving the data directly to the server. We recommend for the PC Notepad++ if you have your own, no problem. And the Mac Text Wrangler, perfectly fine. Both of these programs can save and access files directly to the server, but we also recommend that you use uh, SFTP programs which are specialized in that action, uh, such as WinSTP for the PC and CyberDuck, CyberDuck uh, for the Mac. In this uh, tutorial, we're going to use both of these programs, uh, which is probably the easiest way to create a new file, uh, such as the one that we asked you to create uh, in the assignment. You create the file using your SFTP program, and then you edit that file directly in that program to edit on whatever text um, editor you have. So this is what this a tutorial is going to do. It's going to concentrate on CyberDuck, but uh, here you have uh, a text tutorial to use WinSCP, which is going to be using the same commands basically. So I think if you watch this video, which is about CyberDuck, you will probably also understand better how to how to follow these directions, which unfortunately I do not have as a video. So we have three windows here. You'll have your editor on your own machine, ready to edit files from the Linux server. Then you have your terminal window ready to compile the file that you're editing on your machine at home. And this is the SFTP program. This one is CyberDuck, which is going to allow you to transport the file from your editor on your machine to the server at Ohlone College. So in a typical session you would uh, have to create a new file from the assignment. So here we are. We would I would create this directly in your SFTP program. This is CyberDuck of course. So it looks a little bit different in WinSTP. But in CyberDuck to create a new file, you, you create a new file uh, right here. And with the WinSTP, you would pull down the file menu and find the new option. So quite similar. So let's use this one, new file. And let's just say that we asked you to create a file of this name. Hello there, CPP. Create. And the file is now on your server. You can go to this window, do a list. And we should see it there. Hello there, CPP. Okay, so we're good so far. For fun and review, let's just take this file into Pico. And we can paste or already the original basic C++ program. Save that. And now we have something in the file already. But the main point here is to edit this file on our own machine in our favorite editor. For this, we go to the SFTP program, select the file, and find the option to edit. In the case of CyberDuck, it's right here, Edit With. In the case of WinSCP, you go to File and find the option Edit. And it should give you a list of editors which are capable of working with your file on the server. In this case, Text Wrangler. The file comes up right there in this window where we can start using all our great tools from the YCWIG system. So we can start editing this file. Hello there. Don't forget your quote. And there we are. So if you just push save as you normally would, you just notice the little uh, red connect here. 
That means the file has been saved directly to the server. And we can check that, of course, in our terminal. And we'll just do another pico using the up arrow key. And there is the file updated right there in our server. So this is the part where we need our terminal in order to compile the file. So let's do that now. Pico, hello there. Uh, oh, hello there. And everything works, and we can test it, of course. And it works. So there you are, folks. Thank you very much. I hope that's helpful.